Oh, and there's all sorts. Oh, aren't you fancy, old dear? Oh, what a fancy pie. Oh, old dear, you are fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my loves, it's Tuesday night, and as always, the first night of a brand new meals vlog where we document seven nights of our dinners at home as a, an example of how down to earth and delicious vegan eating can be. And, you know, gives people ideas for meals and stuff. Now, this is actually from last week's meals vlog, it was the African peanut stew that I made and I did mention at the time that I'd done enough for another portion and so we're having it tonight. Yeah, I mean toying with the idea of chips. I mean you've mentioned rice. We were before. but then Jason spotted this in Sainsbury's uh, what's it called? Delicate chip. Yeah, tear and share garlic and tear and share garlic and parsley bread. Clearly marked vegan. He phoned me up and said, Shall I get one? I said, Is it bread? <laughs> <laughs> So we're having that with it rather than having some chips, you know, uh, and instead of nan. So that should be quite nice, really. And this might be a little bit hotter because it's had time to sit. Mm, of course. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that, that's it. There nice. you go. Great start to the week. Great start to the meals vlog. Happy days. Do I say aye? I say aye. I say random shout out. Totally random shout out. We never do this to Star Sailor. Formed in 2000. If you haven't heard it, check out the song Good Souls. It's a banger from the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, African peanut stew and garlic bread. Marvellous. See you tomorrow, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night and do you know what? This is a right bloody concoction. But this is another one of those meals based on um, using things up. Mm. So we had the wraps last week. Oh, and the mukbang on Saturday, actually, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we had one wrap each left, and I thought, right, what can I do with it? I've done this kind of thing before. So what I did was I spread some of the Cathedral City cheese spread onto the middle of it, cooked the last of the Heinz Beans burgers that we got from Farm Foods in the air fryer, Cut them in half, put them on top. Bit of spinach, bit of tomato, bit of mustard, bit of ketchup. So it's like a wrap burger. I'll be honest, I love pretty much anything toasted in a wrap. Like yeah, that. and then folded and pan dry pan fried. So you get it nice and brown. Uh, corn strips are available in Heron at the moment. Um, well, they are in our local Oldham Heron. Uh, I think they're like 150 for two boxes. So I got two boxes yesterday. Last bit of salad from a bag of salad. Not looking its best. <laughs> Still edible. Um, some cherry tomatoes. Well, baby plum tomatoes. And some McCain hash brown bites. And then we've got ketchup, mayo and in corner. Oh, is that the hot one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Just for dippage. So yeah, it's a kind of it's kind of like a takeaway, like a burger joint. Yeah, kind yeah. of meal. I like it. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, I, I sometimes I'm sat here, and this is a prime example. Not every night, but I didn't have a clue what we were having tonight. <laughs> you didn't, did you? I said to Paul, he came in before with the table mats. Um, I was watching a music video on YouTube, um, and I was like, "What are we having?" And he was like, "Things." <laughs> <laughs> so until the plate was actually put in front of me, I didn't have a clue. Ladies and gentlemen, things. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. Hey, guess what? It's Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> We're always excited, and we should have our very last day at Performance Plaza tomorrow. Load the car up, clean it up a bit, hand the keys back. Done. Job's done. Uh, and then we can get on with other parts of life. Now, now then, here now then, this is a kind of Mediterranean dash Greek dash Middle Eastern feast. I guess. Really. So I've done a couscous with um, tomato, salt, and lemon pepper. 
Uh, that is a tin of the beautiful uh, butter beans in tomato sauce that we get from Lidl during Greek week. Sainsbury's falafels, Sainsbury's roasted red pepper hummus, some baby plum tomatoes, an old rotten avocado, <laughs> um, and some of the Aldi Greek style cheese, and a few stuffed olives, and of course, a couple of bits of bread. Um, it's not butties, but it's as good as. Yeah. Almost as good as. Yeah, because we rip them up, don't we, and kind of shove all bits in them. All the bits and things go in there. <laughs> but who doesn't love a bit? And who doesn't love a thing? Yeah, essentially a platter, mm -hmm. if you will. I love a platter, me. Yeah, I'm thoroughly looking forward to jumping into this. Not actually been too bad a week this week. For no, both. it's gone quite quickly. In hasn't terms it? of like, we had some a week off, and then obviously you're going back into work. I'm sure a lot of yous will uh, will what's the word? Empathise. Empathise with that. Understand that. But it's not been too bad a week, all things considered. No, it hasn't. Yeah, and we're live tomorrow night. Yeah, live in the lounge. So hopefully. We will. You'll have already seen us then, because this is Tuesday. That was Friday. Come on now, get with program. <laughs> <laughs> Make me brain hurt. <laughs> a Greek slash Mediterranean slash Middle Eastern kind of sort of feast. Lovely. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday night, seven thirty right now, and we're live at nine o'clock this very evening. Uh, we've had an extremely busy day, but we have completed something today. We have. Haven't we? We have. We finally completed our wrap-up of the Arts Hub, our community arts organisation that we've run for almost 20 years. Uh, some of you will be aware, because we've uh, mentioned it several times over the last few weeks. We have. Uh, big milestone. Really proud of us. Lots of work done over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, keys handed back to the landlord. And final bills paid. Yes. And breathe. <laughs> and so we're having a noodle soup in celebration. I always do this with tofu now. The original recipe that I put on YouTube is with chicken pieces, chicken style pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But always with tofu now and with cabbage and carrots and edamame and noodles and tomato and ginger and garlic. Oh, there's all sorts in it. It's truly delicious and I shall put the link for the recipe up there again. Just for those of you that haven't made it yet, you absolutely should. I'd say it's better for the tofu. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's yeah. why we've we've stuck to tofu. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, it's a, it's a truly, truly beautiful noodle soup. Yeah, just pulled a cat hair off me and freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> In the background. Right, we're going to get this down as next. Watch a Voyager and get ready for our live. I hope you joined us, did you? Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night and I've had a pie-astrophe. <laughs> you know, like a catastrophe, but anyway. <laughs> um, these are these. Uh, you remember on a, on a meals vlog a couple of weeks ago, we tried the no chicken pies from the plant menu at uh, Aldi. And these are the no beef pies with garlic mashed potato which is just basically I boiled some potatoes with some cloves of garlic mashed it all together we'll be having hot sauce on that and some frozen peas and sweet corn a very simple meal tonight but I just fancied pie and mash uh, should we have a taste of this pie yeah why not Bromers. why not it looks a bit more standard when we had the other one I was well impressed because I opened it up and it was like there were peas and all sorts in there you know what I mean oh so, Oh, that's very tasty. Just grab a coin. Cheers. Oh, the steak's very chewy, actually. That's, um, it's got a really good bite to it. I don't think I've got any. Too obsessed with the pastry on the end. Well, the beef. What? Can we try a little bit of the, the filling? Here we go. Yeah. Quite, it's got a lovely um, beefy umami taste. It, like there's some Henderson's relish in there. There might not be, but yeah, there's definitely a. It's got those vibes. It's got. A, I couldn't put my finger on it. I haven't got the best palate in the world, although I've got a pretty good palate. 
Um, I couldn't put my finger on it, but it's it's unique. Mm -hmm. It's unique. It's got a unique taste to it. Yeah, I yeah, like that. Very nice. Pie mash and peas, though. It's a cracking meal, isn't it? And obviously, we've got some bread and butter for butties. We'll be watching an episode of Voyager and then another episode of Fallout, which has turned out to be brilliant. Oh, it's so good. Salt and pepper and singlet heads on the side, because most of you will know now when we have mash, oh, we do like a hot sauce. Yeah, not we'll... all the time, but it's become quite a regular yeah, thing, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Um, they're not messing about here. Just I very rarely do this, except when I'm doing a lunchtime taste test, but I just have a look at the ingredients. Mm. It's fried onions in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. It's fried onions, there's black pepper, there's onion powder, dried thyme, smoked salt. There's a bit of effort going in there. Apple cider vinegar, chicory extract, oh. brown sugar, tomato paste. Um, oh, there's all sorts. Oh, aren't you fancy, Aldi? Oh, what a fancy pie. Oh, Aldi, you are fancy. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go, my loves. Quite a simple one tonight. Pie, mash and frozen veg with a bit of bread and butter. Always 100% vegan. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday afternoon and we've come out for a sneaky Sunday lunch at Wholesome Junkies in Manchester. I've gone for the minted lamb style Sunday lunch. Jason's gone for the chicken style. And we've got some oyster mushroom wings with spicy mayo on the side. So it'll be a light dinner tonight. Because look at this plethora. Look at it. Look at it. Hello, my loves. It's uh, Sunday night and it's a random supper. I thought we might have had a bit more to eat. We've both gone for very different. Uh, the lunch today, by the way. In fact, just the lunch today, Jason. Fabulous. Cannot recommend it enough. If it you're in Manchester, fawn, book yourself in if you're able to. Yeah, you've a got Sunday a book lunch. for the Sunday lunch. Top notch, proper traditional. Um, and also the um, the crispy oyster mushrooms were a revelation. To I me. know. Let me say something. Oh, let you say something. Yeah, Jason ate and enjoyed <laughs> crispy oyster mushroom wings. Well, you know it's happening. It's happening now, isn't it? It's it's happening more often. Yeah. These days. I like you. You know. <laughs> Let me pass that back. Yeah, um, rare for us to be different. We usually go for the same, don't we? Yeah, warm, but I, we've gone for a, a, a slice and a half of toast each. Jay's gone for the Aldi Greek cheese and some olives. I fancied some a bit more different, so my savoury is a piece of toast with margarine and mayonnaise on it. Judge me. Do what you want. <laughs> and then the other two have got peanut butter and black currant jam. And there you go, we're, uh, we're about to watch more telly, and that is our Sunday supper after an absolutely wonderful lunch at Wholesome Junkies, which I hope you enjoyed the little snippet of, and we'll see you tomorrow. My loves! It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests! Hello, you lovely person, and this is what I have for my lunchtime taste test today. It is uh, a follow-up from last week's lunchtime taste test in the Flourish range. Flourish? Flourish range? That's my accent coming through there. From Sainsbury's, 85 pence. This is the Indian-style cauliflower and potato soup. Uh, there is the nutritional information. Quite looking forward to this based on last week's. Uh, there's some more nutritional information for you there. And uh, let's just bring it round. Got a mild little bit of spicing going on in there. It's a spiced cauliflower potato and spinach soup, 400 grams, three minutes in the microwave. So without further ado, oh, there's the ingredients at the bottom there, by the way, if you want to, uh, you want to take a look. Uh, without further ado, I shall get this nuked in the microwave and as always, give you my honest opinion. And a quick look at it in the bowl, freshly nuked, not much to look at really, but uh, of course, ultimately, it's in the tasting, so let's get on with it. Just giving it a little bit of a stir. So instantly, the first thing that I notice is um, it looks like the pieces of potato are quite small in comparison to uh, the shot on the tin, but I could be wrong, so... 
it smells lovely. I know I always say this, but um, I'm not surprised these days. Um, stuff tends to be um, quite authentic and quite nice smelling. If it might not always be as tasty as it smells, but uh, mm. oh, you know what? That's bloody lovely. <laughs> It's really nice. Mm. I almost forgot you was there. <laughs> Honestly, it's really, really tasty. So good. I was going to say it's creamy as well, but that's um, that's the creamed coconut in there. I'm just having a quick look at the um, at the ingredients list again. No spice that I'm picking up in there at all, but it does say mild. Um, so so nice. Yeah. Again, just a really good um, selection of ingredients there, and um, particularly towards the bottom end, which obviously is lending, um, well, it's giving it that authentic taste. And we got lemon juice, ginger powder, chili powder, garlic powder, ginger puree, coriander, cumin, garam masala, black pepper, fennel, cassia, clove, ginger chili puree turmeric so it's got all the right stuff in there do you know what I mean this is lovely um, mm, one more mouthful got some bread upstairs for dippage um, I'm gonna go and finish the rest of this off it's absolutely delightful I would highly recommend both of the soups in the Sainsbury's flourish range uh, 85 pence healthy tasty there's this is almost perfect. I give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10, and I mentioned this in last week's uh, lunchtime taste test, is because you can get very, very similar, as good as, for cheaper. Uh, so uh, Tesco's, for example, do four different soups that I think are around 45 or 55 pence. I've tried them all and they're all gorgeous. Uh, so that's the only reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because there are soups that are quite a bit cheaper. Um, but 85 pence for a really tasty tin of soup, it's not going to blow the bank, hopefully. Um, happy days, 9 out of 10. Carry on with my working day. Look forward to seeing my husband later on. And, uh, and having a chilled evening and getting uh, this meals vlog edited and sorted. So, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this meals vlog. Um, take care of yourself, and I will, of course, see you very, very soon. Hello, my loves. It's Monday night, and therefore, of course, the final night of this particular meals vlog. Now, do you remember me getting this tricolory pasta from Lidl? A good few weeks ago it's um, uh, plain spinach and tomato well I've just cooked it up and I made some coriander pesto if you haven't ever tried my coriander pesto recipe I shall link it up there now because it's beautiful with pasta but it's also gorgeous in mashed potato <laughs> Isn't it though? It is, yeah, it is. I should imagine it'd be gorgeous on most things, even just spread on a slice of toast. Yeah. Um, Jason got an olive ciabatta because they had no garlic bread. Now, Sainsbury's, you can't just have one garlic bread soup for vegans and then not have it in. Sort your shiz out, man. Yeah. So, anyway, he got that, and I've cooked, can you see? I've sliced it open and I've crushed two cloves of garlic with some simple margarine <laughs> and put it in there and then put it in the air fryer so we are having garlic bread do you want to try the pasta with I the will. pesto I will do. promise I will do. and have a see that's a piece of spinach and tomato you've got there mm. said I'll see you soon didn't I <laughs> <laughs> uh, cracking yeah yeah. It'll probably it'll need salt for me, I know that for a fact, but I tend to put salt on at the table rather than when cooking. Yeah, you lean slightly more towards salt, I tend to lean slightly more towards pepper, don't Well, I, I do both. Yeah. I like yeah. a bit of both. Bit. Tasty, though. Very tasty. Uh, some lovely fresh rocket on top, just for, you know, freshness and crispness. Uh, and as I say, lovely garlic bread. 
So it's a homemade coriander pesto with a tricolory twisty pasta from Lidl, uh, topped with rocket and a couple of cherry tomatoes, Fotaluk posh. That's about it. That's tonight's dinner. There you go. Jobs are good. Bye, loves. <laughs>